Oyster rather, but uh, Gregory, if he wins, as is expected. Knowing Scorcia, I doubt it will be anybody in the top ten. Every, right now in the light heavyweight division, it seems that everybody's jockeying for position, and uh, Gregory's one of them. He's had one chance at the title. He lost a split decision to Victor Galindez in tour in Italy. He's only 27 years old. I'm sure he'll get another shot at the title before long. Not doing much at all with that right hand except waving it and occasionally uh, flicks the jab out. Got off well again, but uh, just didn't follow it up with the right at all. Gregory biding his time, pawing with the left hand, or snapping anyway, looking for a chance to put that right hand over on Royster. Good right hand on the side by Gregory. Maybe that'll slow Royster down a little bit. And Royster going in but one direction. That's backwards, certainly, as we'd indicate. He's got to get in there and uh, cut down the the advantage of the heavy artillery of Eddie Gregory. It's got to be in close. Royster has and certainly has not had anything easy. In his last four fights, he fought Matthew Franklin in Philadelphia, fought world rated Louis Pergord in Essen, Germany. Contender Lottie Mawali in England, and tonight he's in there with Eddie Gregory in Atlantic City. He's certainly been around. Fought Tony Mundine in Australia. Fought Vinnie Curto when he was only a middleweight. Curto at one time was a world contender. Gregory landed two good shots there, Russell. One other contender I missed was Billy Dynamite Douglas from Columbus, Ohio, Royster fought. So he certainly has nothing to be afraid of with Gregory. Been there with the biggies, but certainly taking a lot of telling blows to the midsection here in this bout with Eddie Gregory. He was ranked third by the World Boxing Council, a title held by Matthew Franklin or Matthew Saeed Mohammed. Ranked um, fifth by the WBA, that title currently being held by Victor Galindez, who took it from Mike, Mike Rossman. A lot of people say that uh, it's not good to have two champions in boxing because it's very confusing, but you have to look at the business side of it. There's twice as many sh chances for a fighter to fight for the world title. If there were only one, cha only one champion, title defenses would be fewer and far between, but with two champions, Eddie Gregory has twice as much of an opportunity to fight for the title. Plus, title fights mean big crowds, being big crowds mean big bucks. So financially, in business aspect anyway, having two champions is good for the people in boxing, even if your average sports fan on the street may be a little confused by it all. Round four, the scheduled 10 round main event between Lee Royster out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and Eddie Gregory, who really stunned Royster and trying to finish him off here in round four. Throws him down, no knockdown. Gregory's got to come up with his punches, Royster being the shorter man to try the uppercut, especially with Royster bobbing and weaving a little. Gregory would be better off coming up than trying to go over the top. Oh, he's about ready to go down on that one. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
That might have been the effects of an earlier punch, Huey, that put Royster down that time. Well, we know for sure he's got a big heart, Russell, because uh, we saw him in that fight with Matt Franklin go down several times and was there at the end. Four times, and he went the limit. In fact, he's the only man to go the limit with Franklin in the last two and a half years. In fact, since Eddie Gregory beat him, you know, we spend so much time talking about Royster. Failed to mention that Eddie Gregory is the last man to defeat Matthew Franklin, and he did it in Philadelphia by a split decision. It was March 11th, 1977. Franklin hasn't lost a fight since. Gregory's beaten a few contenders in his time. Jesse Burnett knocked him out in Las Vegas. Well, he's gotten off some really vicious body shots here and seems to have things pretty much in control. And you might hear referee Larry Hazard telling Gregory to come on, let's go. I'm doing a little coasting, Russell. Uh, both of them are, although Royster can, uh, is getting the benefit of it. I don't think the fans like it too much. Nope, not at all. Tell me the next time Gregory throws more than one punch at a time. Well, there's one. Let's try and see if he's got any kind of offense whatsoever. Two good shots to the head of Lee Royster, who is still right there with just a couple of seconds to go in the round. See, sometimes it's not the first punch that takes the man out. It's the second and third. Gregory seems to be stopping after one punch. And on 36 fights, he's only lost four times. We mentioned the losses to James Scott in Rahway Prison and Victor Galindez for the title. He also lost a split decision to Benny Briscoe at the Spectrum in Philadelphia when he was a middleweight. And early in his career, he lost a decision to Rodimus Cabrera in New York. And his draw was against Max Cohen in Paris, France. And that fight was before Eddie had fought 10 fights professionally. So in addition to the mediocre opposition he's met over the majority of his career, Gregory has been in there with some of the best in both the middleweight and light heavyweight division. But as we said earlier, the big rap against Gregory is that he's not an exciting fighter. You would think a man who could knock you out with one shot would be more exciting, but he's got to learn to put his punches together. Round five of this scheduled 10 rounder. Obvious edge as we see it here anyway is to light heavyweight Eddie Gregory. <coughs> oh, he really hurt Royster there with uppercut to the head. Made him blink and back away. Well, let's see if Eddie Gregory can put him together in round five. Good left hook. You notice Royster is swelling under Royster's right eye. See, here's where Roy uh, Gregory should be busy. He's playing games with Royster. He's taking his time. He's pawing with the jab. He's throwing one punch at a time. It's not the. There's a good right hand. Oh, he's got Royster in trouble and backs him away. Trying to get off, and Royster is in deep trouble against the ropes. Sitting down. Gregory can end this fight in this round if he wants to, Hugh. All right, we have a minute and a half to go as down on the deck again went Lee Royster. Keeps retreating, and uh, he's really taking some tough body shots. And you know, we've seen this guy before, and he doesn't look for a hole to climb into. Still getting off punches at the same time, and stunned on that one as well. 
He's got to get busy. Royster's got to throw something back and have Gregory stop throwing his own punches. Stay inside of Gregory's long arms just to survive for right now. Duck and cover. Hold. Anything. Right. Just make it That's to the right. bell. Spun around on that one. Oh, oh good, right good right hand. Good right hand. Well, we've got 40 seconds to go here in the round. Gregory, one more time, will end it all, and it appears that he's got it in the hand, Russell. Three knockdowns in one round automatically terminates the fight, and a good right uppercut by Gregory. This could be it. This could be it. Good body shot is still right uh, there, holding on. About 15 seconds to go in the round. That's it. Down he goes, and it's all over. 